Hello and welcome to another episode of my F1 22 driver career mode driving for Alpine alongside Fernando Alonso. We're here then for round 6 in Canada, my favourite track on the calendar. And after a pretty disappointing back in the last time out, we're looking for a good result here. As we come to the end of qualifying, we have found a lot of time on our first lap, nearly a second, and we're going to get our best qualifying result of P7. Let's go to the race. It's time once again then to go racing here in Montreal, the second largest French-speaking city in the world and home since 1978 to the Canadian Grand Prix. We'll be seeing top speeds of around 210 miles per hour here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve with around two thirds of the lap taken at full throttle. High speed chicanes spell potential danger, especially at the infamous wall of champions and watch out for overtaking into the hairpin at that, that final chicane. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Sergio Perez, and Sainz. Brown, Bottas, Mick Schumacher, and Fernando Alonso. Gasly, Vettel, Lando Norris, and Ricardo. Stroll, Sonoda, Kevin Magnussen and Nicholas Latifi. Joe and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. And joining me again for the race today, Natalie Pinkham. Let's start with the new Alfa Romeo driver. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. So it's going to be a one stop from mediums onto the hard. It used to be a fairly fun two stop last year, but everywhere seems to be a one stop. But this has got to be the first time I've qualified Fernando, but let's go to the race. It's lights out and away we go, and it's Leclerc V and George at the start, and Leclerc's covered him off. We're just hanging back a little bit. As we get a good launch off turn one, and we're going to send it round the outside of Sergio Perez. Now, the side by side ahead between the two Mercedes, and now we've had to go slow. We've got our Carlos Sainz, and we're going to go down the inside of Sainz and get ourselves up to P5 in the Grand Prix. Very fun fighting the big boys at the start of this race as Sainz and Perez go wheel to wheel side by side into the chicane round the outside because Carlos Sainz and keeps the position for now as now we find ourselves on the back of world champion Max Verstappen and uh, going on to lap 2 we're going to send it down the inside of Verstappen Verstappen nearly goes off the track but we are up into P4 and, but now Max Verstappen these cars are a lot lot quicker than ours the two Mercedes have gone and now Verstappen it was fun while it lasted there's no point fighting him and he is through going into the hairpin and it wouldn't be long before Carlos Sainz is on the back of us now we still have the DRS from Max, but that Ferrari engine is too strong. And I'm sure it won't be time before Perez gets past it. But, as here comes Perez to the outside. Round the outside he goes, we send him a long way round and he backs out of it for now. Is he going to have another go? Heading up towards the final again. He is, you know. Is he just too far back? No, he's going to go to the inside. 
we're going to keep it pinned around the outside. I mean, hang on to that position. Let's turn our sides pits after starting on the soft tyres. So it may be a long race for him. There is rain <laughs> expected towards the end of the race as well. But if that comes, we'll see. But we had some good pace and we were staying there around a second ahead of Paris. Let's we get another problem, no not again. After packing we are on for some our best result of the season. We really need some points on the board. Okay, we have a severe engine issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pits. The engine for two races in a row has gone bang. And that's more annoying than Baku, because we were on for a pretty P5, more likely going to turn into P6. That's so annoying. That was turned into our best result of the season. And we're out of the Canadian Grand Prix. A truly magnificent drive then, and a great performance from the entire team to secure victory here in Canada. So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team strategies. They got all those things right today and the results speak for themselves. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. They're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. So it's a win for Charles Leclerc again. Good result for Mercedes, 1-2. And fair play to Carlos Sainz. I thought he'd messed up the strategy, but he came back to P5. It's annoying that we retired because we could have got some big points um, today in this race. We need to work on the reliability. This Renault engine is shocking. And we still only have those four points on the board. We've been jumped by Alfa Romeo in the Constructors. It has been a Canadian Grand Prix. Very, very frustrating race. I was hoping after Monaco and Baku that this might be a bit more interesting, but no. And we go to Silverstone next my home Grand Prix. And that's just how we finish because that's two DNFs in a row. It'd just be nice to finish a Grand Prix. But until that one, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in Silverstone. Goodbye.